All right, we are doing a little grilling the way it ought to be here live on the Food City Fan Zone at Bristol Motor Speedway. We've got Chef JJ here with us. Always fun, and it is always great to meet here at the track, isn't it? It is. You know, it's race weekend, and people are moving and pulling in, and everybody's excited, having tailgating and parties and having a good time. And you love to go through the campgrounds and really check out what everybody's doing. You can kind of elevate the game, step it up, and nobody steps it up better than Chef JJ. You always find some easy and unique ways to really do it up right. Yeah, you know, like, the, like here today, you know, I've got some things you could do with the, a griddle. You know, we haven't really talked about griddling the way it ought to be. Oh, I like that. We got a little bit of griddling going on. <laughs> you know, one thing it's easy to do is I, I just used this canned biscuit. It's a large flaky biscuit. And I flattened it out real good. And then I put it on my griddle with a little bit of butter. It needs to be flattened out good. It needs to be like a medium heat. But it absolutely makes a great little little breakfast addition. You can toss it with some butter and some cinnamon and sugar, and it's almost a donut. Eat it with some jam, it's totally delicious. So that is a canned, like the biscuit, yeah. the little flaky one? Yeah, a little canned biscuit there. I thought you were making pancakes up here. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. It's just another thing you can do when you're out and about, you're tailgating, yeah. you're in your RV, and you wanna have, a, wanna have a little bit of fun and have some easy stuff to do. That's an easy thing to do. No mixing required. That is awesome. And that's where we start. And then where do we go from there? Well, I'll tell you what we've got here. We've got these waffles. And instead of bringing your waffle iron, they got these real nice waffles that you can buy at Food City. We've got the Culinary Tours brand. We also got, you know, Ego and all the major brands. But, you know, these little waffles, we're going to throw them on the grill. We're going to make a Monte Cristo. But you can also use them for breakfast. So you can make a little bacon and egg sandwich or whatever you want. Uh-huh. We're going to put our cheese on it. We're going to grill it up. Now, I put some seedless raspberry jam on it. And we're going to heat up our, our meats real good. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe you're doing that with yeah. those. I never thought of that. That's oh, yeah. brilliant. Oh, yeah. So we'll have a little fun with it. You know, it's something a little bit different that, you know, you just don't think about. But, you know, you want a little sandwich or something. Yeah. You know. And the Monte Cristo, that's such a popular item, too. So you say something like that, you got people's attention, right? Oh, yeah. You got, people already kind of know what that is. You know, back in the day, they used to deep fry these. We'd come in wedges, mm -hmm. we'd skewer them, deep fry them in batter. No batter required on these. You know, you're just going to heat up the bit, heat up your uh, your waffle, get it nice and golden. Go AJ, that your... smells so good. Oh, I know. And it's got the... It's got that jam. You know, used to you have a jam to dip it in uh -huh. or some kind of jam and pepper jelly mix, whatever they serve. So we've kind of got our own version here. And I love that you just put it right there on it. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> nice oh, my good. gosh, look how great that grilled up. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You know, it's, it's great if you're on the go, you know, because you don't want to bring a bunch of stuff where you have to mix and chop and and have a waffle iron, this, that, and the other. But you want to have fun and eat the things you like. You know, so this is one way you can eat the things you like and you don't have to clean up too much. And that's one of the things, of course, when you're in the campgrounds, you want to be able to enjoy your company and have some fun. And something like this, pretty easy. But when you bring it out, it's impressive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, so many variations of that sandwich. You know, like I said, you can make a breakfast sandwich out of it. You can come in little quarters and and skewer them. They could be like an appetizer for a little party or tailgate. You know, if you got people over, you can put chicken on that. You know, cook, you grill you some chicken instead of doing fried chicken. You have chicken and waffles. So there's a lot of fun with that. Chicken and waffles, which is very popular. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, all the rage right now. All the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> okay, we got about a minute left, JJ. Well, I tell you what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start something for the next segment. Okay. So we've got a little bit of uh, hash browns that I've got out of the freezer section. And we're going to make a hash, but we're not going to actually use potatoes. We're going to use a hash brown. Ooh, I use those all the time. Kids mm -hmm. love them. Oh, yeah. We're going to butter it up real good and get them going. And then we're going to throw some onion peppers on the griddle oh. and get them started. And then <laughs> when we get the next segment, we'll have a little bit of fun show you what we got left over. Man, you are always so creative. Do you enjoy doing this, coming up with all these great recipes, sharing them with folks? Oh, yeah. I'm kind of a food nerd. so. You know, I probably got a hundred notes on my phone where I'm just sitting around making notes about what I think I'd like to cook tomorrow or the next day or a recipe. Well, you are an inspiration. All right, we got the hash browns going. We're going to let these continue to brown. We'll be back with more grilling the way it ought to be, or would you say? Griddling? Uh, grilling the way it ought to be. Grilling the way it ought to be. 
right here live at Bristol Motor Speedway.